Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Tele Isla's news with the most important news of the day. It has become a problem to uncover the sewer manholes in order to evacuate the water from the streets. Veolia is making a call of attention to cease from doing these types of acts. With the arrival of the winter season, Veolia Aguas del Archipelago calls on the islanders to make good use of the sewer system in order to avoid saturation of the networks, which in turn generate wastewater overflows. We want to remind the community that the sewer system on the island is a sanitary sewer system. It is not designed to receive rainwater. So when it rains and the covers are lifted, what they do is collapse the sanitary sewer system because it is evacuating a volume for which it does not have the capacity. For Veolia, it is important to count on the support of the community, bearing in mind the call made by the company, which will help prevent the clogging on the sewer system. And the other thing is that all that rainwater drags along the solid materials, and that generates blockages in the network and damages to the pumping equipment in the stations. And with this, we have overflows in certain areas, which are one of the constant complaints of the community. But those overflows have a cost. It is not that the company is not complying adequately with its maintenance, but there are some damages from third parties that are causing this type of situations. The invitation is not to leave the covers of the manholes because although it accomplished a quick evacuation of the dam waters, it also caused the entry of stones, mud, plastics, and all kind of solid waste into the sewage systems that clog the pipe, causing the overflow of sewage on the streets. Today, the educators of our department met to know the conclusion that they reached after meeting with the Secretary of Education. Among the issues that were discussed during the meeting with the Education Secretariat was the retroactive payment, as well as the issue of health and the facilities of the educational institutions. Today, the educators met again within the framework of the national strike in order to share the conclusions and to know if the strike will continue or not. Today we are making a decision at the departmental level due to the situations that are worrying at the level of the health in the educational institutions and also for the payment of the retroactive salary for 2021. Yesterday we had a meeting precisely with the Secretary of Education where we were given some explanations as to why the payment had not been made and she also promised to look at how to resolve the issue of the physical plant of some institutions as well as the health part. Which today we are in transition because there is a new contract and we are looking at the bidders. Likewise, a deadline was set during this meeting with the Secretary of Education that by the 30th of this month, the payment of the retroactive salary that is due will be made. Today, the educators then receive this information and say that today they will leave the strike. However, if the agreed promise are not met, they will go on strike again at the end of the month. Deputy Carlos Carvajal presented to the Duma a proposal for the creation of a departmental museum. A departmental museum is the object of the proposal submitted to the departmental assembly by Deputy Carlos Carvajal. According to the deputy, the initiative aims to guarantee the exhibition, conservation, control and dissemination of the material and immaterial heritage of the Rizal people for the knowledge and historical and cultural memory of the archipelago among present and future generations. The idea is to create a departmental museum where our culture can be safeguarded, to keep out those things of our history of the department which little by little is being lost because we do not have a site a place where we can preserve them in the department there are some sites and private initiatives but it is important that a public initiative can be built where all those elements can be housed and be able to do something important for the department the deputy added that the museum would not be only for islanders but for the whole country and all visitors so that they can learn about the cultural values of the island territory he added also highlighted the economic benefits that the materialization of the project would bring. At national level, there are more than 400 museums and San Andres does not have a public museum. In the public network of museums that offer us the opportunity to obtain resources to be able to invest them in the departmental culture. The proposal suggests that the museum be built in the old Santander Hospital. Tele Isla's news camera answered the call of a citizen's complaint about the discharge of sewage water in the sector of Round the Rock. 
Hello to all the TV viewers who they connect right us with us. In Atele Islas News, we see a hello from here from the sector of the Rocosa, specifically in the second entrance of this sector because we receive at the nose of the community a boat, so water discharge, so black water discharge in the whole entrance from the sector. We come to evidence the situation and see what is going on, and we also want to show you about this, the, the nose that we receive from one of the sector people from here. In the barrio, we have alcantarillado. In the neighborhood, we have had sewage for several months. Not everything is connected, but for the last 15 days we have had a discharge at the entrance of the neighborhood that is bringing bad odors and other environmental issues. The controlled entities only give us partial solutions. Regarding the competent authorities, the citizen says that Veolia has approached the site but there is no solution. Al parecer, Veolia vino, ha venido ya dos veces. Apparently, Veolia came twice and had probed the issue with the pipe but have not given any explanation. Neighbor says it is a problem of a hotel. Other says it is Veolia, but there is no solution. And the important thing is to not blame anyone but to find a solution. attentive to the development of this news and see the answer of the competent authorities of this water discharge, of this blood water discharge that is going on from approximately 15 days. Continue in studio with more information. In order to help a family that lost everything, the departmental government will organize a donation campaign. The local government through the Secretariat of Social Development will hold a donaton with the aim of benefit a family who suffered the total loss of their property due to a fire last October 14 in the Rhone of the Rock area. We have been on the scene accompanying this family who lost everything. The losses are material. The family consists of a couple and their three children. We have provided them with psychological support and humanitarian aid in the form of biosecurity kit. Let's help this family that needs it so much. Through food supplies, basic necessities, we will be receiving them in the Secretariat of Social Development. Our help is welcome to support this family that lost everything. The local government say that the interest people can donate items such as alcohol, sheet, mattresses, towel, flashlight, masks, and non-perishable food. Cases of COVID-19 continue in the archipelago with a downward trend in the rate of infection. The intensive care unit reached a zero occupancy today. The National Institute of Health in its daily report registered six new cases of COVID-19 in the archipelago. On the other hand, the authorities indicated that there have been no deaths due to this virus today in the islands. Data from the departmental government show a total of nine active cases throughout the archipelago. The neighborhoods with more cases of coronavirus are Guinea Hen, San Luis, Sierra Vie, Barrio Obrero, and Schoolhouse. The local government indicates that 6,761 people have been recovered from the virus so far during the pandemic, as well as a total of 136 deaths have been reported so far during the health emergency. The intensive care unit for COVID-19 has registered a 0% occupancy rate to date. The Departmental State Social Company will be conducting PRAS tests today, Thursday, in the Cocal sector, Friday in Orange Hill, and Saturday in Flowers Hill. On the other hand, the Ministry of Health in its vaccination report as of October 18 indicates that a total of 85,416 doses of vaccine have been applied. <laughs> Hello, here are the best sports of the islands. The coach Paulette Garcia continues preparing her athletes for the next skating festival in Cartagena. With the help of her brother, Professor Paulette Garcia continues her process of conditioning and preparation of the skaters in order to take them to the next skating festival to be held in the city of Cartagena. With more details, the coach told us. In estos momentos continuamos. Currently, we are continuing with the process of preparing the children for an invitation to a skating festival in the city of Cartagena at the end of November. We are in the company of Professor Sergio Garcia, a physical trainer, strengthening the club to make a good presentation in each festival for the representation of the island. The skating festivals bring together many clubs from different departments and are highly demanding competition, which is why you have to be in an optimal level of preparation to make a good representation, so said Professor Garcia. Integration and sports meetings of different departments tighten workers' friendship here in this department.
sports is a relevant phenomenon in people's lives. The integration of public servants with sports activities plays an important role for these athletes who participate in them. No matter the age, preference ethnicities, religious beliefs, sociocultural status, sport is a phenomenon of utmost relevance in the life of these people. We spoke with Eileen Stevens, the coordinator of social welfare, who told us more details. Uh, this activity, basically, we, we making um, this tournament is to have like some relationship with um, different uh, public servers. These people coming from uh, Valle, Universidad del Valle, and Santo Lima, the department Santo Lima. Also, there is um, uh, employees from the government, and um, the idea is we, we have a um, better relation in, in all these type of tournaments, and, and that we can go ahead and uh, make a recreation and, and also with all of us. Yes, and it's not just only this activity we're having and different, different activities. Uh, we have uh, this morning, we have um, running, we was running, and uh, also um, Gobernacion uh, boys, they, they, they win. And from Saturday, past Saturday, we have different um, sports. We have football, we have in, um, volleyball, and different activities where the employees for Gobernación and the employees them from Valle and Fantolima, they share in, in, in this tournament. Culture, tradition, and sports activities has a number of benefits for the athletes of this society.